Oh my goodness, what's up happy people? I hope you had the opportunity to watch the full video where we caught this Mai Mahi and a swordfish and all kinds of other stuff. And we're gonna try to mix things up a little bit here on Deer Meat for Dinner. Let me show you a couple of ways how I clean a big Mai Mai. First and foremost, a lot of people when they're cleaning a dolphin, they peel the skin. So there's tons of meat up here in the head. So we'll come around here work all the way down just like that start down here at the tail get your knife in and stay as close to that dorsal fin as possible that is called a dorsal fin run it right up just like that now we'll turn them around and we'll do the same thing on the bottom and you don't want the knife going in too far you want it just about that far now a lot of people will peel it. You can grab that skin now that I've outlined it and uh, just start peeling it. <clears throat> just like that. Now, when you peel it, there are a couple advantages. Now you can see the bloodline perfectly. And whenever I do this, I'll just cut right down that bloodline, right down the center. Good. Then I'm going to lay my, life, my knife and cut as close to that dorsal bone as I possibly can all the way up into the head. And then this will cut out just like that. Use your thumb. And now it's broke free. This should just pull right off. There you go. Beautiful, beautiful piece of fish. Now you can see that the backbone and we're going to cut right down the other side of it and just come up and over the the rib cage here and we're just going to gently fillet that off of there. You're all set. Let's see what all he's been eating. That's what we caught him on. Will you look at that? He's been eating seaweed. But he's really been eating a lot of these file fish, little file fish. Hey, what do they say? Elephants eat peanuts. All righty, step two. Let me show you a trick. This is actually what I prefer to do. Again, same concept. You're just gonna follow that, that skin right. You want it as close to the backbone as possible. And then we'll come right up there. There you go. There you go. Now we don't have to worry about outlining this one. Same thing. There you go. You could hear that knife touching the backbone down there. Hear that? Then we'll turn it around. Same thing. Right down there, as close to that bottom as you can possibly get it. And down here, we're gonna cut this right out. Now, same thing. We'll just cut this and meet this right up there. There you go. Take this, cut your little finger hole right here, and we're just gonna pick up on the pick up on the fillet. And then there you go. Perfect. There you go. We'll just follow the top of that rib cage. There you go. Look at that. Nothing. I mean, I guess you could get a spoon and get some more meat off of there, but mahi mahi don't have 
cheek muscles really. So this is gonna become, look at the turtles, they're already waiting. They know what's about to happen. So now, instead of peeling that skin, let's cut it off. Now we're gonna just fillet this skin. Whoop, right off there. I wanna show you the difference and why I prefer this. So it's the same, same piece of meat on separate sides. That's the top, obviously, that's the top, just like that. You can see that, like, that tendon, that connective tissue. On this side, there is no connective tissue. There is a tiny little piece of skin there, but all you gotta do is just cut that off. Then you're gonna be left with, this is a, this is a bloodline that has some bones in it. Take your knife, and you want to like roll your knife just like that. And that's gonna take away all the bones and the majority of the bloodline. It's a combination of pulling. See your skin there? Now look at what the bottom looks like. Perfect. On this side, I'll take my knife and I'll just start rolling it down. I'm, I'm taking the knife and cutting like this. Use your fingers. Now we have all of that bloodline gone. Might have a little bit left right here. And all you gotta do is do a little angle cut. Now we are sitting pretty. Now that side is done. Now let's take a look at this. This is the first piece that I originally peeled the skin on. Let's take a look at how it turns out. I mean, trust me, both ways work just fine. And both, ha both have their advantages. But now you can see firsthand. See how this doesn't see? See that stuff right there? That's that fibrous connective tissue. I'm totally not familiar with what the scientific name of it is. But to me, that's just going to make the fish more and more tough and hard to deal with. I want tender, delicious fish. Once you've got your fish totally trimmed out and dry, I like to lay it on a paper towel like this and dry it off. Now that this fish is completely filleted out, skinned out, trimmed out, and dry, just wrap it up. Now that piece is ready to go in a Ziploc bag. None of this fish will ever be frozen. All of it will be eaten fresh. The key when you're laying it in your Ziploc bag, make sure that it's laying flat. We've got four big bags of fillets, boneless, skinless, fully trimmed out. When this comes out of the bag, it's gonna be ready to cook. And that's what it's all about. If you put it in the refrigerator or throw it in the freezer and it's got a bunch of water on it, it gets soupy, it gets sloppy, and it takes away the really pristine flavor of that fish. This is perfect. I'm gonna give three bags to my friends. One of my each of my neighbors, uh, one to Joey Hluska, and I'm gonna keep one myself. Sunday, when we're all sitting around the house, I'm gonna pull this out and I'm gonna make some kind of really fun recipe for me and my family. But that is all I've got for today. I hope you enjoyed this detailed process of how to fully clean a monster mahi mahi. If you wanna see more videos like this, if you enjoy seeing the full fishing video and then a detailed cleaning video and then a full cooking video, drop a thumbs up and leave a comment below because I am here for you and I really, really appreciate you. But that's all I got for today. Take care. God bless, and we are gone.